Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has announced the rollout of super wideband stereo support for Bluetooth Alley audio devices on Windows 11, with the goal, it says, on improving the quality of game chat and voice calls over wireless headphones and earbuds. And that's all according to this tech community post, which will be linked in the description because it's packed with a lot of information if you would be interested. So go check this out. I'm just giving you a quick overview for this video. Now, it seems that the reason for this is Microsoft was getting a lot of questions regarding the actual audio quality. And here's one of them. I'm playing Forza Horizon 5 when I get an Xbox party chat invite from my friend who wants to race in multiplayer. As soon as I join the chat, the audio quality of my Bluetooth headphones drops. The sound gets muffled and I can no longer hear what direction the sound effects are coming from, what's going on. So it seems because of that, Microsoft is making this upgrade. Now, previously, Bluetooth Alley Audio on Windows only supported super wideband mono when using the microphone. So the reason why a question like this exists, what's going on, is because it meant that the game audio and calls lost stereo detail. And because of this change now, Microsoft says Windows 11 users can now maintain high-quality stereo playback while using voice, eliminating the muffled mono sound typical of older Bluetooth classic audio profiles. So, as of an example, if you are playing Forza Horizon 5, this is where it could be beneficial, where the audio now will stay crisp, spatial, and stereo, even while using the microphone, which according to Microsoft resolves a long-standing drawback we're switching to chat degraded sound fidelity. And if you want to know all the tech details about this change, Microsoft gives us all of that in this post, which will be linked as mentioned. Now, besides the game upgrade with the um, wideband stereo support, Microsoft has also announced the feature also enables spatial audio in Teams calls over Bluetooth for the first time. And up until this change, the feature required wired headsets. So obviously at the end of the day, what this will do is it will help you follow conversations more naturally, which I do think is a nice move. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom, how do we get all of this? Microsoft says, first, you'll need a Bluetooth headset, earbuds or assistive hearing device that supports Bluetooth Alley audio along with a Windows 11 PC that supports Alley Audio. Okay, so this is hardware specific. And Microsoft says to use super wideband stereo during game chat and video calls, you'll need to be running the latest updates to Windows 11 version 24H2. So this is rolling out for version 24H2. And have an updated Bluetooth audio driver from your PC's manufacturer starting later this year, some existing PC models will receive driver updates from the manufacturer to support the feature. And Microsoft says we also expect that most new mobile PCs that launch starting in late 2025 will have support from the factory. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.